I just wanted to do a quick little video today because tonight is the Trump Biden debate, the first one of three. And I gotta say, I'm a little excited to see this because I watched the debates in 2015 where Trump and Hillary sort of went at it, man. And Trump said some things that made people go, huh? What do you mean Bill Clinton's a sexual abuser? Had like his assault victims right there in the audience and things. And so that was, that was, you don't, you don't know what he's going to do with the debates. You really don't know because Trump is one of those people that just, he just says things. But speaking about saying things, then you also got Biden. Man, if you haven't watched the compilation of Biden's gaffes in like the last, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years, like the one from the 80s is the most telling, but the most recent ones just gives you this idea that maybe he's reached a, a, a point of senility where he's just not all there. I've seen him speak multiple times where he doesn't even know what he's running for. He claims, you know, he's always running for either uh, a re-election or Senate, or he doesn't know what location he's in. I'm very curious to see if Biden has the cognitive ability to go an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, or whatever it is, and not slip up as much as he has in these scripted interviews, because, you know... My big thing is, if you're going to run for, for office, no matter what it is, you should be running on policy. And all I've seen is just slander and just insults. And so I would really like to see some substance today on what the actual plan is. Because I think uh, in the when The Rock interviewed Biden, he was, he was just like, so what are you going to do to to fix America, get things right again? And he says something like, we're going to rebuild trust rebuild trust what a vague statement you've been in politics for 47 years and you don't have an actual plan other than good things it just seems like a very lazy answer and it's like if you want to win the presidency you're going to have sub substance not just eliciting emotional responses because eventually people who have half a brain are going to start thinking hey he didn't actually tell us anything. He just said, trust them, which correct me if I'm wrong, but my entire life, we have considered the government incompetent and untrustworthy and full of assholes. My, in I mean, for as long as I can remember. So why are we at a point where so much of society is like, we need to rely on the government. My God, rely on the government. Growing up, if you said that, you would you'd be laughed at because it's a joke. Relying on the government, my God, they're the most incompetent group of people to ever exist. And we think they have some sort of power or position that they're that they're like this, these high and mighty, almost uh, new age royalty. They're a bunch of idiots. They're a bunch of idiots. When I first moved to the county I'm in, our local government got in trouble for spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to go on cruise ships, okay? People in government suck. Stop trusting them. Stop trusting them to fix things, especially if they don't have a plan. I'm very curious if anyone has a plan tonight. Anyway, just thoughts because it's happening. Bye.